So in Embedded Systems 3, we try to go through both the fundamental aspects of developing for mobile devices and also the practical details you need to do in order to produce high quality applications. So we go all the way through from the fundamental aspects like uh, using sensors or um, libraries for drawing uh, animated high speed graphics and also um, the specific implementation techniques to get these going on things like the iPhone or on Android devices. Um, so we cover a range of platforms and the skills that you'll develop are usable beyond the platforms we teach and also beyond uh, developing for mobile systems. So dealing with constrained resources, dealing with real-time sensor information, doing real-time feedback. These are all aspects of computing science which are going to be valuable for you in the future. And at the end of the course you should have a level of skill which you could sit down at a, a workstation with a blank screen, write an application of the kind of quality which you could then distribute on the App Store. So we try to go all the way through from absolute basics to really high quality finished products. So there's a lot of hands-on work in the course, um, but the results are rewarding in the end, the students get a lot done, and you'll be able to actually create things, run them on your own devices, and have fun. That's true. Can you tell us a bit about the Embedded Systems 3 course? Yeah. Basically, uh, Embedded Systems 3 course is uh, a software development course um, specifically for mobile devices. Uh, in particular, uh, we've got iPhone and Android um, are the two platforms that I studied throughout the year. Okay. What would you say were the low and high points of the course? Um, probably the biggest high point would be the fact that you don't have to do an exam at the end. Um, obviously, that, that's quite a, a load off your back there. Um, Another high point would be the project. Um, you get to choose exactly what you want to do in your project um, on any any mobile uh, platform that, that, that they have at, at resource. Um, the low point, again, to do with the fact that there's no exam, there is a lot of work um, throughout the year, um, but obviously as long as you just stay on top of that, that should be fine. So how challenging was the programming that you did compared to what you had done previously in your degree? Um, the programme that we do in in ES3, um, it's, it's working on, on things that you've learned before, so from that perspective it's, it's fairly easy. Um, but there are a lot of kind of new things, um, for example for the iPhone, um, I had learned C in semester one, um, but we had to, to further that knowledge to, to learn Objective-C, um, which is of course what the, the iPhone um, uses there. Um, so. Yeah, there, there was a lot of work, but, but it, was, it was okay too. Okay. So what were the labs like? What sort of projects did you work on in the labs? Um, one of the iPhone labs, uh, this is a, an example of the Open GLES um, iPhone lab that we did. Um, so as you can see, it just reacts to the, the user's touch uh, and just draws a couple of sparks uh, on there. Um, so I had to learn about Open GLES in that lab and also kind of basic physics. Um, so obviously that, that it's reacting to, to gravity to fall towards the bottom of the screen there. Um, another one which we did, um, just finished yesterday actually, um, is the virtual guitar. Um, so as you can see, there's, there's strings down the bottom that you can that you can play there, and there's a fretboard at the top. Um, and for that, we, we basically just developed um, all the sounds ourselves. So we learned all about the feedback loops of, of audio um, and all that. So these weren't <coughs> these weren't decan sounds; they were mathematical models and you do some real time synthesis? Yeah, um, from the beginning it was mathematical models um, so entirely it was based on your algorithms to make the music um, later you can synthesize it with a real guitar sound so that it actually sounds um, more like a guitar um, rather than a, a tinny kind of box obviously it's coming out just a wee iPhone And what did you choose as your project? For my project um, I chose again for the iPhone um, is this demo here. Unfortunately it's not actually finished at the moment but you should be able to get a rough idea. It's a routing program um, for the iPhone so users can upload uh, specific routes that they think are important or that they like um, so that other users can, can view them um, and share them basically just between, between the community. Okay, thank you. So if you could roll back the clock and decide whether to take the mobile software engineering degree again would you still I've done it knowing what you know now. Yeah, I definitely would have would have chosen it. Um, I mean, there is a lot of work, uh, obviously, in in the course, um, but it is rewarding to have um, that finished product that you can actually show, that you can put on your own device if you if you have the device as well. Um, so yeah, definitely would choose it again. Excellent. Thanks for your time.